lockdown day 22 and it's time that we start to talk about some serious issues now the two big serious issues that is going on right now is china and what's going to happen in a recession or even a depression yes guys i'm talking depression as we know guys a recession is when your gross domestic products your gdp is at a two quarter negative now that's the reason why they don't just wait three months to see if there's a drop in spend overall they wait for two quarters and in those two quarters if it happens then that's when we have a recession what we're hearing right now from the uk government there's a strong possibility that 35 percent, so that's one third of our economy would have shrunk at the end of this lockdown so listen that's you're talking about way over double digits you're talking about three times the double digits that you would normally have in a recession that is way 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 harder than a recession so i'm talking straight depression right now and guys a depression is when an extended recession happens which lasts for years not quarters and we're talking about years it's more severe obviously unemployment reaches 25 percent housing prices plummeted by 30 percent prices fall by 10 percent of normal goods Obviously, the devastation of the Depression is so great that the effects of the Great Depression lasted for decades before it ended, and that was after the 1930s. That's the last time we, we had a, a Depression. And I really think that that is something that we might suffer with here because of the numbers that are floating around. And this is the reason why I told all of you like, to hold on to your money. Don't do anything stupid. Don't book any holidays. Don't buy any cars don't do you know don't plan to do anything if you're doing something with your house make sure it's low-key and affordable like if you want to do wooden flooring or something like that if you want to do stuff in the garden then that's fine yeah the best way to find out is whether it peaks or it doesn't peak and the the one thing the one indicator that this takes whether we're in a recession is house prices if you know house prices start to go down in an abundance then you know we're right in the thick of it and that's practically what's going to happen i just want to say the frustration leads us on to the next point where yesterday we talked about countries starting to lift the laws on lockdowns why are they doing it when we still don't know nothing about this this virus we we don't know how to tackle it yet we're not at the stage where there's human tests for vaccines or immunities we're not at that stage yet that that's not going to happen till another three months so it's not like there's a light at the end of the tunnel while we're looking at these implementations. And I'm not saying us because the UK is saying no way. But Trump is stupid enough to go and pull something like that. We know Sweden are running a herd immunity, so they're, they've been open from day one. Now we're looking at the numbers and it might not be so smart after all. Yeah, it might have opened them up to a, a, a whole heap of infections. But again, only time will tell down the long road whether that's the right or the wrong thing to do. Because the whole point of it is to let people catch it so that it builds up an immunity down the road. But this thing isn't acting like a virus we've seen before. That's the thing. Yeah, everyone's talking about, you know, we've all caught some kind of bad flu before. A SARS, a MERS, or, or maybe an earlier version of the coronavirus. We've all got something like that in our system already. But what scientists are starting to see is the action and the devastation from what this is doing to your lungs is something that is far beyond what we've seen. And not only that, but it could be. There's word that it could be possibly mutating into something else and it may affect other organs in the body or affect the lungs in a different way. So, listen, hearing those two things means that we do, we, we're, we're at the start of something happening now and even for the numbers that are starting to plateau in infections and death rates those aren't really going down but they're stable so we're at the point now where these numbers are stable they're not really dropping there they've climbed up to a certain point and they're stable and we're, we're flatlining especially in the uk i'm just going to talk for the uk for now so to do anything that is going to ruin that is wrong on all, on all levels and the only reason why you'd be doing it is you're going to be putting wealth before health. And that's something that is going to cost you dearly. It's going to cost you more lives. And I'm not talking countries anymore because you know who you are. You know the countries who are taking those risks 
that you're going to start putting people in the firing line. And I'm not going to say anything more about that because that will just play out and be what it's, it's going to be. Yeah, L let's not paint any bad picture over what may happen. So we'll just have to go with what whatever happens and accept it for what it is right now. People ain't flying. So it's not a, it's not like it's going to catch on more over here or borders are open or anything like that. At the moment, if you keep your backside in your house and you're safe and your family's safe, that's as far as you can go. And that's all you need to worry about. Don't don't, don't worry about them fools that are out there and putting themselves in harm's way. Yeah. Leave them to do whatever they're going to do and whatever these decisions they're making now, they're going to have to deal with in the long run. Right now, it's about looking after yourself, looking after your well-being of your family and everything that you're in control of. The thing that I really wanted to discuss is China. Out of all of this, out of all of what's going on, how can we make them accountable? Yeah? How can we make them? Because for, for right now, there is almost no accountability for what China's doing. They started this in the wet markets. And they're carrying on now like nothing has ever happened. And unlike with SARS, where the wet markets were closed for six months, and then the fishermen and the, the, the food people who, who collected all these wild animals, their pressure forced the Chinese government to reopen up the wet markets. Now, those markets ain't even closed. They're open right now. So you can get any kind of exotic wild animal at the market that you, you can get, simply because they haven't locked it down. And this shows zero accountability. Why? Because... It's going to happen again. And it's not like SARS happened 18 years ago in 2002 and then MERS happened. If the fact that you ain't closed anything down, this pandemic may not take a decade to spread its head again. It might come within a matter of years. So you're putting the world at risk again already before we're even over this one. You're already doing it by opening up yourselves to another problem. So what is it that China is doing that we don't know? Yeah? We already know some of these vaccines that the people are working on. China are out there saying, ah, oh, that's not going to work. You're already saying it's not going to work. So how do you know it's not going to work? What tests are you running? What, what lab data do you have that you could pass to the world that would let us know that some of this stuff that's out there isn't working? So, and why, and the fact that you've sent your people back to work, supposedly, with your empty factories, your rubbish line death rates and death numbers, how do you know all of this? Do you actually have something that you're using right now that has made your people immune? Have you given your people immunity? Which is why you've been in a rush to send them out back to work. If you have, share the data. Share it with everybody in the world. You've caused thousands among thousands among thousands among thousands among thousands of deaths. And the, the, we're not at the stage where we're finger pointing right now. We just want China to be accountable. And being accountable means if you've come up with something or if you've got information that can help anyone else, spread the word. Spread the word. You have an onus to do that because of what's happened here and where this virus started. Yeah? Forget the finger pointing and the blame game. Forget that. Because everybody's suffering right now. You've got a part to play in fixing this. So why don't you give us all the information that you've got? What, I, what is it that you're hiding? I mean, right now, you've established yourself in China as the world power. The Chinese dollar is very strong right now. Trade manufacturing, everybody's been sucked into using your cheap manufacturing costs and your call centers to do all of their work just for the sake of wealth. Well, you know what? I think the first thing that the world has to look at, and I'm talking to the UK and I'm talking to the USA, I think that if it costs you more money to employ your own people, to get them to manufacture goods, that's going to cost more money. Do it. Because I would rather buy something that says made in England or made in the UK or made in the USA, if I know that somebody who lives around the corner from me is benefiting from it. I would prefer to pay an extra 10 or 20% for an item, for a TV, for a laptop, for a computer or anything in that respect. 
If I know that it is made in the country that I'm buying it from, knowing that someone is getting a salary for doing what they're doing and that it's not going to break down, yeah? Because the UK and the US have never really been known for, lo known for low quality goods. They've always made decent things, you know, our cars and things like that have always been decent. They've not been German. They've not been the, the best or Japanese, but they've been manageable. They've been average quality at least. But low quality goods at low prices. Guys, you get what you pay for, man. If you ain't paying hardly anything for nothing, it ain't going to be nothing. If you're going to pay top dollar, if you're driving a BMW or a Mercedes, yeah, you're going to get a quality product. And Pete, the reason why those companies exist, because we don't mind paying out of our pocket for a quality product. So why don't we start to switch this manufacturing low labor? Because again, guys, dictatorship, we don't know what's going on in that country. All we know is that they are making certain things for a certain price lower than what, what we could be doing. Companies like Santander, Virgin Media, all of these companies, AT&T, Comcast, companies can have their call centers in China or India because we know that those countries have a lower output and people can make more money by having call centers around the clock because it's too expensive for us to do it. If it means you pay your people more money, get back to doing that. There must be a way how we can earn on trade and penalize China so that they don't get away with this. Because guys, seriously, they're laughing at us. They're laughing at us. Because all these masks that are being made, these ventilators, we're waiting on these people to produce hundreds of thousands of masks that we should be producing ourselves. All for the sake of cost. And look, all that money that you saved, look how much money is costing you now. 330 billion in the UK's stimulus package. Two trillion dollars in the USA. All that money that you think you saved, you're paying for it right now. So it hasn't it hasn't got you anywhere, has it? It has if you produced your own masks and ventilators and gloves, nyro gloves and aprons, and protective boots, and arm sleeves, and all this stuff that the, the, the construction and the medical people need, if you produced all that stuff, you, there would be no shortage, because everything would be in-house, there'd be no shipping, you know how much stuff is sitting in shipping containers in Serbia and Hong Kong right now, do you know how many containers are in lockdown, and can't be shipped to the UK or the US, if we were producing that stuff, there would be no problem with that, there'd be none of it. So listen, we need to make China accountable and we need to do it where it hits them hard. Otherwise, this is going to happen again. It's going to happen very soon. Guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Peace out, man. Look after your pit and Hold your family and love your family. Check in on your friends. Call them on WhatsApp, video call, all, all of that thing. Use Zoom, house party, whatever you want. And touch base with your loved ones. Peace out. Hashtag stay home. I'm out.